Hi guys, today's video is about street photography, the art and the craft. Stay tuned for more. In the spirit of street photography, I went tramping around the streets after Fuji X photographer Leon Oesthuizen. He's got a wonderful eye for composition and for telling stories out of things that we would think were just ordinary everyday stuff. The, the big allure of street photography for me is the ability to firstly just get out from behind my computer screen and get some vitamin D. It's, it's a, a great idea to get out and get fresh air and see my city and see the spaces where other people move around. Street photography is one of those things that's not as scripted. People have different styles of street photography. It's not a particular type of product photography and I'm obviously not shooting for a client. So the expectations um, are only my own and if I keep those limited, I don't come with a pre-scripted idea of what it is that I want to capture. I rather play the role of the fly against the wall and observe and capture what I find interesting and play compositional games. And sometimes there'll be themes that develop as the day goes on. Uh, it's it's playtime. That's what makes street photography so, so much fun. Okay, so the way that I set up my camera for shooting in black and white uh, is by using the film simulations that we've got native inside the Fujifilm cameras. Uh, this, the one that I prefer using is Acros with yellow or with the red filter uh, simulation built right in. That means that in the electronic viewfinder, when I look through, I see exactly the effect that I'm going to be saving my, my JPEGs as, and if I need to, I can edit the RAWs later on. What are your preferred settings? I typically shoot at f5.6 or f8. Um, any wider than that becomes a bit tricky uh, to focus. Unless you're in low light, you can get away maybe with f2.8 to f4. Uh, but I never close down more than f8. I'd rather change my ISO, my shutter speed to accommodate that. What is really cool is when you um, have a, a camera with a flip out screen, you can have a lower angle of view. That means that I'm looking down at my camera, I'm able to see exactly in live view what exactly my image is. I can frame it up. Um, and if there are people in the shot, it means that I don't have to make eye contact with them one of the other settings you can play with if you're not setting up your camera with ISO and aperture is with shutter speed and that allows for some motion if you go on the slow side. I quite enjoy shooting at a 15th of a second and also photo walks from time to time where we shoot exclusively at a 15th of a second. That makes for a bit more um, liveliness in the image where you have some people or, or dogs or bicycles or something moving through, even cars, and you can pan. So there's, a, there's an extra part of a way that you can tell a story that you can build into your image. For street photography, I find a mid-range zoom is quite cool, uh, what some people would like to call a kit lens. Uh, this is, on the Fujifilm is an 18 to 55, and you'll see that it, it's a small enough lens. If I take the, the lens it off, it's even smaller. It's well built, it's got great optics, um, and it, it has a stabilizer in, uh, for when I'm shooting in slightly lower light conditions, so that's helpful. But what's even better is that I don't have to switch lenses and miss moments. I could just be an unobtrusive photographer with a, with a small lens. The filters that I use, I don't try and be too extreme with the filters. Um, it's mainly to, to wrangle the light. Uh, the ones that I prefer to use are the Nisi screw-on ones for street photography. Uh, this is the three-stop neutral density. There is a polarizer and there's also a 10-stop neutral density in here with step-up rings. So if I'm shooting with a smaller lens uh, diameter, I can put a, a bigger lens uh, filter in front of it. And it's a handy carry case that keeps all of my step-up rings from all of my smaller lenses to my bigger filters. That's all you really need. Uh, they neutral density, they don't affect the color, but they let you work with the light that, that's available. Lastly, what everybody wants to know is, what is in your camera bag? I always, in one side of the bag, um, I have my travel tripod. There you go, it's a carbon fiber Sire. Uh, one of the legs comes off if I need a monopod. Uh, it comes standard with a head, so it's a really cool package and it takes a lot of weight if you need to. It just fits quite comfortably in the side of my, my Peak Design backpack. Uh, I have cables and everything else on this side if I do need to connect to things. 
like chargers and all that. This bag is not designed necessarily to be put down, but to stay on your shoulders and sling around. Um, it's an easier bag to carry around than a typical backpack. Uh, but what I've got in here are two smaller lenses, a 35 and an 18 f2. Uh, one of my most loved lenses uh, for street photography as well, if the 1855 that's on the camera isn't wide enough, is the 10 to 24. This is a ultra wide f4, also stabilized. I prefer this over the 2.8, um, 8 to 16, purely because of the size, and I can still add a filter to the top. Another important thing in my bag is my pair of sunglasses. They prescription polarized neutral density gray. Uh, so I, I'm not affected in any color way, but I can tilt my head sideways to see how the scene polarizes before I decide to add a polarizing filter onto the front of the lens. That's extra effort. Um, so I save myself some time and mission with that. Next to this is the neck strap. Uh, I don't always have a neck strap on my camera, just a wrist strap for most of it. Um, that goes around there. But if I do have a neck strap, uh, this is a very handy tool uh, for helping me to stabilize at low angles. So by flipping the screen down, I can pull back on the neck strap. And as I lift the, the camera up, now I have a, a viewpoint, a vantage point that's higher than my head. And I can pull back on this neck strap and have a far steadier image than I would with just one hand, even two above my head. Far, far steadier way to shoot and a really nice way to use an extra. Um, I have a tiny flash that goes on. Um, it's just a pop-up flash that goes onto the hot shoe. Very easy to add a bit of light to your foreground. The thing that I never leave home without, especially with street photography, is this Square Instax um, Wi-Fi printer. I can print from my phone or more importantly, I can print straight from my camera. This is great as a um, as a bartering tool or as a thank you. Uh, if, I, if I do portraits on the street, people often uh, want some money in exchange and that I find far more valuable to those people are actually giving them a photograph on the fly that happened right there, right now. Uh, so this is, this is a great tool in my bag that I use constantly. I hope this video has inspired you to get out there and take more photographs of the things that you see in the streets. Remember, F8 and be there.